When you think of genetics, you likely think of its application in medicine, pharmacy, or forensics. But did you know that genetics can also be applied in the field of conservation? One of the tools that is being used in this purpose is DNA barcoding. It enables us to identify species based on their genes. The gene that we analyze is similar enough within one species, but different enough among separate species. So it can be used as a reliable parameter in species determination. This powerful tool has found its application in freshwater ecosystem bioassessment. Many freshwater species are actually sensitive to both climate change and anthropogenic pressure, so they make great indicators of state of particular ecosystem. To take the initial steps towards implementation of DNA barcoding in bioassessment in our country, my team and I have conducted research in protected areas of Canton Sarajevo, which are Vrelovosne, Trebevic, Vijambare, Benbasha, and Skakovac. We have sampled insects called Trihoptera that live at the bottom of lakes and streams as larvae, and their general diversity is directly linked to health of a particular ecosystem. We have genetically analyzed 37 samples. In these samples, we have found 14 distinct species and generated 20 new DNA barcodes for the Global Genetic Database and CBI. However, almost 50% of our barcodes didn't have a high enough match in this database, so we couldn't link these specimens to a particular species. This likely happened because we had rare or endemic Balkan species in our sample, for which we didn't have a reference DNA barcode in the global database. So it was like we found a cigarette butt on a crime scene and we tested it, but it didn't match any of our suspects. Continuation of this research is of great significance because the entire humanity relies on freshwater ecosystems. Our research has shown that DNA barcoding needs to be coupled with research in species diversity by traditional methods so that new and reliable data can be gathered for Bosnia and Herzegovina. Once we do this, we will be able to apply DNA barcoding on a larger scale in bioassessment and conservation.